Today we replaced the front and rear surface mount clearance lights, plus the side marker lights, and upgrade them all to LEDs on the 2003 National Dolphin Motorhome. I'll include a link in the description for more information on this set and the two side markers. The old ones are really faded and worn from the sun. They barely stay on and a few just flew off while driving. Plus the new LEDs will draw much less juice and will be much brighter. Replacing these is simple. All you need is a screwdriver, crimping tool and butt connectors, some acetone or alcohol, and some cork. You may need a drill and a bit if the holes don't match, and a ladder. If I miss something, you'll see it along the way. As you see, they are held by two screws, same as the new ones. Once removed, just pull it away and unscrew the bulb socket. See how much wire slack we have? Then cut both wires and throw away the old bulb socket. Strip both wires about a quarter inch, then insert the connectors and crimp them. The heat shrinkable wire connectors type are highly recommended. I'll link them in the description as well, along with a simple cutter, stripper, and crimp tool. No need to get fancy with a tool you'll use very few times. We do the same to the new light wires. By having different color wires, it's very hard to figure out the polarity, and LEDs are very sensitive to that. So before crimping, we check to make sure they light up first. Then we crimp. And with an alcohol-soaked rag, we clean the surface. Then, you shrink all four ends of the connectors. Insert the wires into the rubber around the hole. Cork the screw holes and around the wires. Now we thread in the screws halfway. Pump some cork into the top border of the frame, but not the bottom. So water that may get in has a way out. With a rag soaked of alcohol, wipe the access. Pop in the lens and move on to the next four. Is the end result with all five done and the sun is still out. They look even better in the dark. The front are pretty much the same except the lenses are amber instead of red. These are much more rotted than the back ones were. You can see how they crack very easy. But this foamy gasket is salvageable, so I'm definitely going to reuse it. It's too bad the backlights didn't have them, and the new ones didn't come with them either. Cut the old socket off. Splice the wires. Insert and crimp the butt connectors. After testing the polarity, crimp the new fixture wires and shrink. Insert the wires back in. Cook around the wire and screw holes. nice beater on the top of the fixture and screw it on. Wipe the access off. Finally, pop the amber lens on there. There's the front ambers all done and two side marker lights to go before nightfall. And we'll find out how cool they look in the dark. How much more they'll stand out compared to the old incandescents. Now these took a lot of abuse, especially this one that faced the southern exposure for 20 years. They are going to be simple to exchange though. What I mean is, I'm not replacing them with LED fixtures like I did to the top clearance lights. These will be traditional incandescent twisting socket type, but I will convert the bulbs to LEDs. 
Once the old one is off, I check if the bulb sockets are compatible to the new light, so I don't need to splice and replace it. It's identical. Clean up the surface. Yeah, these are much more visible from the sides. These are also easy to get to the twist on socket to change the bulb or take the lens off to change it. I'll show what I mean. By the way, use stainless steel screws. Now because the old light had the screw holes about an eighth of an inch closer together, we mark and drill a new hole to make the new ones line up. Put some caulk to the screw holes and to the top edge of the light. This will keep the water from seeping into the socket and protect the bulb. Thread in the screws and tighten. Screw in the socket from the inside of the wheel well. Take the incandescent bulb out and insert the LED and clip on the amber lens. Got lots to look forward to tonight. Do the same to the passenger side marker. A last check to make sure they're all working. And there we are in the dark, without even the light of the moon. The front clearance, much better. The side markers definitely can be seen from the sides compared to the old ones. and the rear red clearance. Very nice. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you along the way. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. See the description for links of tools and materials used in this video. And you all have a great day.